So now we're ready to start drawing the doors and the windows and a quick reminder to save your drawing. And now let's get into the windows. So the way I draw the windows usually it's very simple. Uh, I just use the rectangle command. So what I'm gonna do is basically the following. I'm gonna do a rectangle like this and then I'm gonna add just a polyline in the middle and that's it. That's literally how I represent the window. Uh, and usually um, I keep it simple, but like if you want to make it a little bit more, you know, sophisticated on the floor plan, you can add the trims to it. So for example, let's say I want to represent here uh, like the trims on the side. So I'll move this to the left by two inches. And then from this side, I'll stretch this to the right by two inches. I'll trim this portion. And then here, what I will do is I will add like a trim like this. Okay. And that's like one more way to draw it. Um, another way is also if you want to add like represent the panel, so you would add like also additional trims in the middle. Um, but I I like to keep it simple. I feel like it's it's easier if you just uh, keep it uh, much simpler than that. So here I will do this. Okay. So now we have the window, and then like we can mirror this line to the opposite side. But the thing is with this, like I think a lot of people would assume that these are two windows actually instead of one, like with sliding panels or anything. So I'd rather just keep it simple. Uh, and that's why I'm just gonna get rid of all of these. I'll do a rectangle. And then here I will just add the line in the middle. Now, obviously if you're designing like an adding windows to your project, you wanna tell uh, the person who's going to build this or the homeowner or the property owner, like what kind of window is this? And usually that's what the window schedule is for, where you would know that this is window number A, for example, or like tag A. And then this window A is this wide, this high, and it's a sliding window and it's wood or metal or something else. So on the floor plan, I think just keep it simple. And if you want to get a little bit creative with the look of the window, I think doing it on the elevations makes way more sense versus the floor plan. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the blanks. Essentially, I'm just going to leave the doors uh, as they are. Um, and then the door, we'll do the doors after. Um, I'll show you one cool thing about the doors. We're going to do our first block and then, uh, and then we'll... Uh, and then I'll show you like a dynamic block, like a really cool block for the door. But anyway, you're welcome to skip ahead. I'm gonna actually uh, just do this real quick. Okay, so I just finished adding all the windows and now we can start working on the doors. So for the doors, I'm gonna start working like close to the entry. Uh, and I guess uh, let's actually start exactly from the entry. I'm just going to measure it. I think it was six feet wide. Okay, so I'm planning to do like a double swing door here. Uh, and this is how I would draw uh, a swing door. So I would do a polyline. And then here I will do three feet. And then I'll go out uh, two inches. And then go back three feet. And then I'll close the geometry by typing C uh, to close the polyline. Maybe I didn't show this earlier, but now you know how you can close the polyline back to the first point. Uh, and then like to represent the swing, I will just do a circle. I'll just do it up to this point. And then I'll just add a line here, like at the quadrant point, which we have because of the snap settings. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the trim command to trim this portion and then to trim this portion. And then I'll erase this portion because we don't need it. And this line was really just so, uh, just so we can like trim at that point. So that's why I added it and then I'm gonna erase it. So that's the first door. And then if I wanna if I wanna mirror this door, it becomes a pretty straightforward task. I would just mirror it. I'll mirror it from this quadrant point and then I'll click here, like click down, and then I don't wanna erase. I'll get rid of this dimension, we'll add it later. But here we go, we have like a double door. Let's say I wanna show the door to the opposite direction. I'll just eliminate the dimension. I would select all of this and then I will mirror it from this point and then I will erase the source. And now we could show that it opens to the inside instead of like to the outside. 